Well, good morning, everyone, and Happy New Year to everyone. Boy, it's been quite a year, this uh, 2020. I think we're all looking forward to celebrating not just a new year, but saying goodbye to this year. So uh, this morning, I thought I would just keep it, uh, keep it on an upbeat tone and keep it simple and read uh, Psalm 150. Psalm 150. Hallelujah. Praise God in his holy temple. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him for his excellent greatness. Praise him with the blast of the ram's horn. Praise him with lyre and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with loud clanging cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, we are in a, a season of joy and a season of celebration. And it's easy to read a psalm like this. But as we look back through the uh, last several months, the last nine, ten months, it's not been easy to celebrate at times. I want to share something I heard this morning while I was uh, getting ready uh, to do to do the video and head off to work. I uh, am able to watch some of the shows back in Toronto through the uh, internet on my computer and there's a morning show some of you up in Toronto will know it's called breakfast television on city TV and a lady was talking to uh, to them on uh, the show uh, mentioning that she lived up she lives up in Halliburton and it's not been the happiest of years for her she lost her husband back I think it was May her husband passed away and then in July, she had a house fire and lost everything. Well, when you think about this past year, that sure sums up the year. But she was saying that she has been blessed, blessed by those in the community, her uh, friends and other family members. And even though uh, she had these terrible losses, she still looks at forward to the coming year with hope and can count the blessings that she has had. And I think that's a wonderful message to each of us as we look at this past year, which was, you know, uh, some have called it a fire and a dumpster year. And we look to the coming year. We look to the year of hope. But even in this past year, we can find moments of blessing. We can find moments of joy. And I think it's important that we take some time to do that. Yes, it's been a terrible year. We've been isolated. Some have been sick, some have died. You know, and then there's the frontline workers, especially those in the hospitals who have been nonstop working. They're exhausted. And we're facing uh, a terrible month or two ahead of us as the virus is surging and people have not been social distancing through the uh, Christmas time. So, yeah, there's lots that we can be sad about for this past year, but there are also many blessings. And this uh, woman from Halliburton, uh, you know, she's lived it, and she, she has shared from, from her own thoughts. And it's something that we need to think about too. There are blessings even in times of darkness and times of sadness and difficulty. And now as we look forward to the new year, we can, you know, say, great, 2020 is past, and we have all the hope of, a, of the coming year before us. A new dawn, a new day has happened, it has dawned. The joy of Christmas is still with us, the birth of Jesus is still with us, and we look to a, a, a new year of hope, and uh, we pray, we pray that, uh, life will at some point maybe mid to late year 2021 get back to some sort of normal so we continue to pray for the frontline workers we continue to pray for those who are struggling we continue to pray for all of us and for those of us who are, are just in the isolation and not able to even just uh, 
be with friends and family, to have a hug that they haven't had in nearly a year for some people. So I just say to all of you, count your blessings, <clears throat> excuse me, count your blessings, because there are, even in 2020, and look to the new year with hope. Let's look forward, take steps forward, and pray that things are going to improve. So happy new year to all of you, to you, your friends, your family. May 2021 be a year of blessings, of health, of happiness and joy. And to all those who are watching from all over North America, and especially for my family and friends back up in the Toronto and Lindsay area, I say uh, happy new year to you too, and have a great one. So we'll see you, all of you, in the new year.